A trip to hell South Korean artists have painted what she saw in hell and made a video to compile together. All those paintings are based on real heaven and hell after some artists have been seeing in heaven and hell. A video of hell cannot be recorded and brought back so the Lord showed what they are like through these artist paintings. The paintings you are about to see are actual scenes from the various parts of hell that are expressed through these paintings. Lord said, there are so many people like them who walk on the path of hell that it is countless now. These people are following the path to hell without any awareness that their destination will be hell. We, who consist of 45 young artists who are devoted to the Lord, are the original artist of these drawings. I heard of the Lord telling me that I need to let everyone know about hell much more clearly and vividly, so we remade this video. The story of an artist who drew about hell, with the guidance of the Lord, I preached the realities of hell through paintings. I was scared and trembling, but I had proclaimed the truth. May 22, 2009, it was on the twelfth night of the hundred days of all-night prayer. During prayer, I began to grind my teeth against my own will and I couldn't stop it. At that moment, the scripture, the scripture, Matthew 25 verse 30 passed through my mind. And throw that worthless servant outside, into the darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. The words, it's hot come out of my lips and I realized that my spirit was going through the suffering of hell. Then, I saw a series of four images. I realized that this woman had been a woman with many sexual experiences. I realized that this woman had been a woman with many sexual experiences. Satan's ripped the flesh of the man's spirit, roasted it, and enjoyed it as a food. These were the spirits who landed on an island of hell, and I saw a black factory far in a distance. I realized that these people will soon undergo tortures of hell there. The feeling of intense fear and dread did not leave me. Even by then, I did not why I saw those things. My heart grew hot from praying all night. As an artist, I was inspired to let people know the heart of the Lord in this period through my paintings. So I expressed my desperation to my pastor and asked for his prayer and advice. I ask my pastor because he is a person who meets the Lord through very deep prayers and loves people with the heart of the Lord. I believed that he would understand my desperation more than anyone. The Lord told through my pastor that I should try to paint hell. He said, since the spiritual world cannot be seen with physical eyes. I prayed deeply so that I can feel and confirm for myself by actually going there in spirit. After I saw and visited heaven and hundreds of various other spiritual worlds, I came to believe that the world of spirits actually exists. He also said that there would be times when he would see over 20 places of hell in one night and that the world is truly a world of wickedness and suffering. In the midst of wondering how we should portray hell, the Lord helped us in so many ways. He showed us vision and also had us meet people who encountered various parts of hell. These people said they did not experience hell because they themselves wanted to experience it. But it was possible only because the Lord permitted it and took them there personally. People tend to think that heaven and hell are only a conceptual world of dreams. Just as a physical body and this world actually exist, spirits actually exist and so do the various worlds of the spirit. The spiritual world is a world of reality that actually exist. The mind thought and the heart of the body is transferred directly to the spirit. So the pain of hell is felt as if one would feel physical. Also, the spirit can sense things just as a physical body can but it can feel things more sensitively and intensely. The joy of heaven and pains of hell can also be felt much more intensively than one would with a physical body. Those who claim that heaven and hell exist believe that they exist in their hearts, and those who do not think they exist, believe that they do not exist in their hearts. Like this, they live with this misunderstanding. Hell, for murderers. There were outcries from spirits who were being cut like slabs of meat all over the place in the human meat market. The flesh was being cut and hung throughout the place and a huge Satan with a beast-like face held a big knife and put the flesh meat on top of the cutting board and cut them. The cut slabs of flesh screamed out in pain and begged to have their life spared. Life is more valuable than the heavens and the earth. 
hell of jealousy and envy. Satan's threw the people in hell, one by one, over the cliff that connected to the floor below, and slid them down on the fluid that secreted from the walls like water slides. The people who received the suffering of being thrown over the cliff are people who felt neglected in love and felt left out. On the floor of the basement section of hell, there was a huge shovel that was placed on a rock like a seesaw. On the shovel, there was a person sitting there tightly bound and trembling in fear. There was a far but nimble Satan and the moment the jumped up and down the handle of the shovel, the man screamed and flew high up in the air and disappeared. Hell, for those who commit sins verbally. Lord said, for those who cut me to pieces, disregard my words, and speak recklessly, their tongues will be hammered with a big nail, their lips will be sewn together with a needle, and lava will be poured on their tongues. Hell, for slanderers. Lord said, the psychology behind slander is that it does not stop at the instant one hearts is, but rather, it gets relayed no other person and so forth until it becomes a widespread rumor within moments. The tongues of people who make slandering their duty are similar to the tongues of Satan. One mistaken slander will cause both slanderer and the victim to undergo the suffering that comes from slandering. Slander is a habit, too. It is a satanic trait of taking pleasure in speaking ill of others. I, Lord, say unto you to please eliminate the seed of such slander. Hell, for liars. Satan kept shoving rocks into the mouth of the man. The man threw up and cried out in pain, but Satan kept shoving the rocks without a moment of rest. Hell, for stubborn thoughts slash self-made perceptions self-centered thoughts slash self-centeredness. To think and believe incorrectly due to wrong discernment. To misunderstand that wicked acts are righteous acts. To confine yourself in your own thoughts and emotions. Complainers. I saw a man who was being strangled and tied with a snake and a long thin snake was wiggling inside his stomach. Numerous men lay on the floor with a robotic facial expression as if had no thought in them, and their faces were pale and gray with their eyes staring blankly. I heard a noisy crowd in my ear. That noise was truly like the sound of hell that I had heard on the internet, and it sent shivers down my spine for it was a noisy and dreadful noise. When I listened closely, I heard that they were of people who were grumbling and complaining. It is the Lord's fault. It is all the pastor's fault. I heard every one of them complain that it was someone's fault. Their complaints were so loud that it hurt my ears. They looked so unsightly that I had to quickly glance at the Lord's face. This is what the Lord said, they did not say it with words but they always had negative words and thoughts, and had stubbornness stored in their hearts. Just because it is not spoken does not mean that sin was not committed. It is sin even to keep in your heart without resolving and repenting of the things that are in your heart. Hell, for those who commit suicide. One man's story, suicide. Continues stress, ah, I'm so tired and exhausted. Wherever I go, there's no place where I can feel at peace. I tried to soothe myself with drinking. I don't want to live anymore. Would everything be peace once I die? Would the weight of this life be lifted off of me once I die? Where I am? Satan, so, you thought that it would be over once you die? You thought you happy once you die? If I could only go there. Those who are in hell know that there is heaven. Yet they also know that no matter how much they cry and repent, they can never go to heaven. Hell is a world of eternal regret and suffering. Hell, for addicts, internet addicts. Extensive use of the internet leads to communicate, games, pornography, and other addictions and it can cause confusion between the virtual world and reality, barrier language, violence, sexual perversion, and other crimes. Therefore, it can be a major cause that leads people to sin. Drug addicts. Hell for drug addicts was a very cold place. Satan cut up the spirit's arms and legs, buried them in ice and tied the rest of their body to a tree with rope. Next, they force open the spirit's mouth and pour dirty sewage water into it. Hell, for materialistic people. These people love money when they were physically alive, but they receive eternal sufferings here. Lord said, these people are so caught up. 
in their pursuit of riches that they value money more than people, prefer luxurious imported cars over faith and mock churchgoers. They also in fear that the food that Satan pours on them will vanish so they try to fill their greed for possessions. Just as they were once sophisticated, Satan raises them high on a pedestal and burns their whole body to flames where they will live in intense and extreme pain. Lord said, These people are so caught up in their pursuit of riches that they value money more than people, prefer luxurious imported cars over faith and mock churchgoers. They also in fear that the food that Satan pours on them will vanish so they try to fill their greed for possessions. Hell, for those who commit sexual sin. Even if love was done out of mutual affection, it is considered a sexual sin. People commit sexual sins but they believe that it is just one of the ways of life. The reason is that our body was not created as tools for pleasure. A woman and a man had all of their limbs spread apart and bound in the nude they were hung high up. Satan had two to three meters long spears and pierced them p asterisk ck, p asterisk ck, into the organs of the woman and the man again and again. And long thin snake that was over 15 meters long entered into the organs of the woman within seconds and passed through her whole body until it came out of her mouth. A man was stuck on the wall of the pit like a human bat and beasts that looked like hyenas were gnawing at the man's organs. Those who make pornography. There was a machine and a person was bound with their limbs spread apart. When the machine began to run, the hands and feet that were bound slicing off. The torso that had been cut up were gathered in one pile. The body was sliced thinly and passed through the machine like a bank running through the cash register. People who have sexual intercourse with animals. The people were hung upside down and twisted continuously until blood dripped from them and fluids oozed out from them. The spirits in hell screamed for their life to be spared, but I saw Satan below them collecting the dripping blood and drinking it. Women who enjoy sex and aborts babies recklessly. A woman was hung upside down in a deep pit. Ten Satans inserted of their twenty-meter-long spears into the woman's organ all at once and twisted stirring them inside her. Hell, for those who have abortions. There was a silkworm like fruit on a bare leafless tree. There was a naked spirit curled up inside that fruit like a fetus inside a womb. There were sharp thorns made of steel embedded in the fruit and pierced into her body, so she bled in miserable pain. This place was filled with people who chased after their own pleasures, did not bear any children but keep aborting them. Harming lives is a tremendous horrific sin of murder so we have to quickly repent. Hell, for those who masturbate. Lord said, you cannot overcome Lucifer's tricks and succumb to masturbation, there are so many of you who cannot overcome its pleasures and commit this act habitually. You did not realize the essence of love nor can you feel an abundance of love in spirit. You are people who think that physical love is everything. When it comes to love, the love of the heart, mind, and spirit is the greatest. The rotten love of the lower body is actually a love that is dead. Satan's put a man on top of a big cutting board and began to cut the man's organs. The man screamed and his whole body began to convulse. One woman was stripped naked and dragged on a floor of hot sharp rocks. This woman was unable to overcome her desires and tried to satisfy her physical desires through masturbation. The fall into the pits of hell because they did not perceive it as sin. Lord said, these people committed all kinds of filthy and wicked acts. These are people who lived a life of human trash in the gutter. Among them, there are also famous entertainers, and there are many people who lived being caught up in drinking at bar lounges and sexual pleasures. With gutter-like acts they had committed, they are undergoing punishment in the gutter of hell. These people had tried to kill themselves and beat every day. They lived a life of self-condemnation. They hit others, were violent, and fought with others. These people lived a life of killing others in their hearts and with their words hundreds of times at a time. Lord said, So many people in this world are corrupt from the fall so please relay my ever-aching heart to them. Even at this night, masses of people commit sins again and again and they are born again as ones who have lost value. When I see them, my heart aches so much. They unknowing commit so many mounds of sins, 
and oblivious to this, they wander around lost. My heart aches extremely for this reason. The scream of pain of the countless number of people who go to hell pierce the sky. Hell, for children. Lord, how old this child? Lord said, this child is nine years old and was an elementary school student. Lord. Why is the child going through such suffering? I really couldn't believe that a child was in hell and it was truly dreadful. Lord said, this child did the things that his parents told him not to do and Satan was using this child the whole time he was foul-mouthed and already caught up in the sexual culture of adults even at such a young age. Therefore, his brain was already plagued with a disease to the point that even his parents could not help him fix it. There were bugs and insects crawling around the child and they were eating away at the fully naked child. Lord, what should we do with young children? Wouldn't it be okay if they repent? Lord said, if children can discern between good and evil, and know about heaven and hell, and judge for themselves. Yet become corrupt and fall into the domain of sin, they will regard sin as trivial, harm others, mock and slander others with no intention to repent. There are so many children like him in the world. If these children do not repent and get into an accident or become ill then die, Satans will drag them away and confine them to various prisons of hell. Hell, for pastors who become bad. Satan was dancing with joy. Today, a big person came. He is a pastor who used to harass us. His whole spiritual body was tied up with rope and dragged there. Satan's help up an arrow with a very sharp metal tip that was heated over the fire and began him by stabbing him all over his body. Pastor screamed, Please save me Lord, please save me, Lord. Satan shouted, It is useless now. You have become mine. I asked, Lord, why is this person here? The Lord said, He once led a mid-sized church. He especially received the grace of God and began leading a church. He preached about heaven and hell to many lives but later on, he gradually, little by little, became corrupt. He was a married man but he seduced one young woman from the congregation, dated her and began to forget about me. Soon after, he began hitting his wife and ended up living with the other woman. He was then driven out of the church. Even when times grew hard, he did seek me. He rejected my help even when I had tried to give him many chances and bring him back. I had wanted to lead many lives to the path of salvation through him but he turned everything away and chased after his own desires. That is how he ended up here. I ask, Lord, what type of suffering will he go through here? The Lord said, Satan's hate and despise most the pastors or anyone who once did my work so they will inflict all kinds of pain. They will be happy and relieved that they fell for their tricks. I ask, Lord, what type of suffering will he go through here? The Lord said, Satan's hate and despise most the pastors or anyone who once did my work so they will inflict all kinds of pain. They will be happy and relieved that they fell for their tricks. Those who mishandled public funds. A man was standing naked with his two arms spread in the image of a cross. There was needle pricked into each of his cells all over his body. He looked as if he could not scream even if he was in terrible pain. These persons had spent the church funds as if it was his own. If you like this video, then like, subscribe and share. Thank you.